my dear students today we are going to study about the hepatic portal system but before we get into the details of the hepatic portal system it is very important for us to know what exactly is a portal system so to understand the portal system i would like to explain to you all that a portal system is a venous system which arises as capillaries from one organ and enters into another organ as capillaries that means this venous system emerges from one organ in the form of capillaries and then ultimately enters into another organ where once again they form capillaries the portal system are of different kinds the one that we are going to study is known as hepatic portal system but along with these there are other portal systems also for example the hypophysal portal system which is found in the nervous system there is another kind of portal system which is called the renal portal system which is found in the lower vertebrates like fishes and amphibians but this renal portal system is not found in case of the human beings so let us try to understand what a hepatic portal system is from the term itself hepatic referring to the liver so what is there in the hepatic portal system that is what we are going to understand today hepatic portal system as i told you that since it's a portal system it is a venous system that takes away blood from the digestive system and the spleen to the liver before the blood is taken to the heart we all know ultimately the blood is collected in the vena cava and this vena cava ultimately takes away blood from the different organs into the heart but before the blood from the digestive system is poured into the vena cava it moves into the liver the blood moves into the liver through the hepatic portal system so here the hepatic portal system is emerging as capillaries from one organ and ends up as capillaries in another organ as i have already told you that since this is a portal system and it emerges as capillaries and ends up as capillaries from one organ to another organ here in hepatic portal system also the same thing can be observed so in the hepatic portal system the venous system is emerging as capillaries from where from the digestive system and it is ending up as capillaries once again where in which organ in the liver that is the reason the term used is hepatic portal system now what is happening in the hepatic portal system the capillaries arises from the digestive system and enter the liver as hepatic portal vein and once again form capillaries in the liver so what is happening in the hepatic portal system we see from the digestive system the capillary arises these capillaries now unite to form a portal vein and this portal vein takes away the blood from the digestive system and takes it to the liver when it reaches the liver once again the hepatic portal vein forms capillaries from the liver the blood is taken by the hepatic vein and drained into vena cava 
from where blood is taken to the heart. So as I told you in the very beginning that ultimately the blood from the different organs have to be collected by vena cava and ultimately the vena cava drains the blood into the heart. So here in the hepatic portal system also the liver collects the blood from the digestive system by means of the hepatic portal vein and ultimately from the liver the blood will have to be drained into the vena cava and in this case it's the inferior vena cava the blood has to be drained into the inferior vena cava from the liver and that is done by means of another vein that comes out from the liver which is called hepatic vein. So this was the explanation for the hepatic portal system. Now I'd like to tell you the significance. The significance of the hepatic portal system is when the blood is carried from the digestive system to the liver, a number of substances have to be absorbed by the liver. For example, glucose will be absorbed by the liver and will be stored in the form of glycogen. Good amount of ammonia will be converted or deaminated into urea which has to be eliminated ultimately from the kidneys. So here when the blood is moving from the digestive system to the liver and ultimately reaches the liver, the liver will do the selection of the materials that has to enter into the normal circulation that is the vena cava and certain amount of substances needs to be detoxified certain number of substance have to be converted and have to be stored in the liver so that is the reason this hepatic portal system is very important so diagrammatically if we want to understand the hepatic portal system it shows out here that the hepatic portal system emerges as capillaries as you can see out here from the intestine. This resembles the digestive system and it moves into the liver as hepatic portal vein. So these capillaries okay, will form a hepatic portal vein and this hepatic portal vein ultimately enters into the liver and where once again it breaks up into capillaries. These are also capillaries in the liver. Now these capillaries once again reunite to form the hepatic vein. This is the hepatic vein which is coming out from the liver and this hepatic vein ultimately drains the blood into the vena cava and in this case inferior vena cava and this inferior vena cava ultimately takes the blood into the heart. Thank you.